Today I'm harvesting Kennebec potatoes. I grew these in a 10 gallon grow bag and as you can see some of the plants have died back and some of them have not. If you're wondering about the long sleeves, I wear those early in the morning when I'm working outside. That way I can spray insect repellent on the sleeves instead of my arms. As you can see from the stems, I used three seed potatoes in this grow bag. And the grow bag itself is one of several different types I tried this summer just to see which ones I might like better than others. And Opulent Systems was one of the better ones, I thought. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I just want to let you know what type of bags they were. I've grown potatoes in grow bags before and had mixed results, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. But I started finding nice sized potatoes right off the bat. And the more I dug, the more I found. It seemed like there was a real mixture of size. There were some very tiny ones and some pretty large ones. Once I emptied the bag, it was quickly apparent that I had quite a few of all different sizes. This was actually the best I've done in a grow bag, I think, considering it was a 10 gallon grow bag and before I grew in 25 gallon grow bags and really didn't get much more than I got here. One thing I tried different this time than the times I've grown before is I added some sulfur when I planted them this time hoping to lower that pH just a little bit because potatoes like pH that's a little bit on the acidic side right around 5 to 6 and the soil I started with was probably neutral pH around 7. I also grew some Kennebec potatoes in ground and the ones in the grow bag actually did quite a bit better than the ones that I had in the straw. And I think part of that was because I lost some because of the gophers and I'm not sure how many I lost because of them so it was kind of a big question mark. But next year I think I'll just skip growing them in the ground and just grow them in grow bags. It seemed to have worked pretty well this time and I don't see why it shouldn't work well next time. In a way, it's kind of like being a beginner gardener. I learn a little bit each year and then I apply that to next year's crops and hopefully I'll be able to improve my production. We had a very hot summer this year and because of that, these got water every single day. After I think I got all the potatoes, I like to comb through with my fingers just to make sure and I usually find several more. Once I get everything out of the grow bag, I'll take these over and rinse them off just a little bit and we'll take a look at what we have. Since we started with three seed potatoes in a 10 gallon grow bag, I'd say this was a pretty good harvest. I put the larger ones on the left of the screen and the smaller ones on the right so you could kind of get an idea of just how large some of them were. If you're interested in taking a look at the grow bags that I used, I'll put a link down below in the description. Let us know what you think of this harvest and if you have any tips on growing potatoes, feel free to share them. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.